So I've made a lot of trend predictions on the channel before, and I don't want to toot my own horn too much, but I got most of them right. And it's not just me saying this, look, this guy came back to one of my old trend prediction videos to say so. Anyway, it's been a while since I made one of these trend prediction videos, and I love to make these videos, so let's talk about what's going to be trending this winter. If you like this video at any point, please do drop it a like, that would be lovely. And now that's all out the way, let's get into the trends. So I'm going to start off with footwear first, and the first item of footwear that's going to be extremely popular is loafers. Now I know loafers have been popular for a while now so this is nothing new but even the people last year who said they'd never wear loafers are now rushing to get a pair. But the reason I love loafers so much is because they're so versatile and you can wear them with most styles. They go with slim fits, baggy fits and everything in between. You can easily dress them up and you can dress them down and they never go out of style so having a pair in your wardrobe is never a bad idea. Sebago seems to be getting really popular right now especially their Dan loafer and I do think they're a great entry pair of loafers. Another entry pair of loafers that a lot of people talk about is the Larson loafer from GH Bass. I've actually got three pairs of the Larson loafer but I've got them all in shiny leather and I wouldn't recommend them so much today. That shiny coating makes them a little bit stiff and a little bit uncomfortable to wear and I do prefer a matte finish or a textured finish these days. So the loafer I'd recommend from them instead is this textured pair. Not only do they look nicer but that grain leather is going to be softer and more comfortable to wear. And if you're an absolute baller, then I don't think you can ever go wrong with a pair of 1953 Gucci Horsebit loafers. They're timeless, they go with everything, and they'll last you a lifetime, as long as you look after them, of course. I'll leave links to everything that I talk about in this video, by the way, so you don't have to remember everything that I talk about. Just check out the description box if anything interests you. Okay, we need to talk about Uggs next. So I said Uggs would be popular last year, and they were. And I don't want to toot my own horn again here. Who are we kidding? Of course I do. Otherwise, I wouldn't be tooting it right now. But I do think we're going to see a lot more of them this year, whether you like it or not. And do I like them? I don't mind them. I don't really have any strong feelings towards them or against them, but I won't be rushing to the shops to grab myself a pair anytime soon. And some of those beige pairs are not the most practical for the winter, especially when it's wet. When they get wet, they look an absolute mess. But if you live somewhere where it's cold and it's dry, then they might be a good option for you. But yeah, let me know how you feel about Uggs, because I know there's a massive divide on this one. So next Next up, we've got hiking boots. Now, hiking boots are another boot that have been really popular over the years, but I don't think they've ever been as popular as they are now. And to be honest, this isn't a bad trend to get behind because they're usually made well and they can take a beating. And if you do get bored of wearing them casually, then they'll always be useful for walking or hiking in, so they're never a waste of money. I think these boots work best with relaxed fitting pants, so if you like your relaxed fitting pants, then these could work well for you. And for a brand that I'd recommend that you check out is DM. I think they've got some some of the nicest looking hiking boots and I'll link some of my favorites in the description box. And while we're talking about hiking boots, I just want to say that I do think ski wear and snowboard wear will become bigger. It might not be big this year, but I do think it's coming and I just wanted to put that out there. We've got it on record. So let's talk about some clothing next. And the first item I want to talk about is bomber jackets. Now I know bomber jackets are always popular, but I do think we're going to see a lot more of them this winter. Big fashion brands like Gucci, for example, have been really pushing the bomber jacket and I do really like Paul's look here. I love the proportions and the shape a bomber jacket can add to an outfit and I do think they can work with anything. And if you don't want to spend Gucci prices on a bomber jacket then check out this one from Weekday. If you want a classic then check out this one from Alpha Industries and one I've been really liking at the moment is this one from Shot. Now I have been talking about picking up this jacket for a while now so it might be time. And I also think we're going to see a lot more of Shot this winter. I've just been seeing it a lot more than normal so keep your eyes peeled. Next up, I want to talk about the brand Diesel. So Diesel have really taken off this year, and I think the hype around the brand is only going to get bigger. And even though the Diesel aesthetic is not really my thing anymore, it does bring back some happy memories for me. I remember me and two friends from school would go to Birmingham for the day and use all the money we'd saved up over the year to buy whatever we could afford from the Diesel store. I'd always be so excited when I could afford a pair of their jeans, and they were all I wanted to wear. But as well as their jeans, I used to wear this belt a lot, and I never thought I'd see the day where so many people were wearing it again. But the kids these days are doing the whole diesel look a lot more than I ever did. And when I talk about the diesel look, I mean like this. So hopefully you get the idea. Also, the whole denim thing where it looks like it's covered in dirt or covered in oil is going to be really popular. And I'm seeing a lot of that too. Brands like Acne Studios and Weekday are also getting really behind this one. So I'd recommend looking there 
uh, if you want a pair of jeans that look like they're caked in filth. And while we're talking about jeans, I don't think the big baggy jeans look is going anywhere anytime soon. I think they're just going to get bigger. People are even pulling out their already wide jeans even wider. They can't get enough of it. And I just want to take this time to say that just because something's trending doesn't mean you have to take part in it. I'm actually finding myself going further and further away from the whole oversized and baggy pant look and I'm going for more fitted jeans these days. Not only do I think they look better on me but I also feel more myself in them and it's important to do what feels right to you at the end of the day. The next trend is one of my favorites off this list and it's military inspired looks. I've been noticing a lot of camo pants and camo prints popping up all over the place and just military inspired pieces in general but I do think you're going to see two different styles of military looks this winter. The first look is going to be with a lot of greens and browns and more oversized fits and the other is going to be more black and grungy clothing. Now I do love the look of both but for me I'm all about the black and grungy clothing. I think it suits my style better and I feel most myself when I'm wearing black but whichever style you go for I don't think you can go wrong with this one so pick your favorite or just blend the two. Next up we've got statement scarves. Now scarves in the winter obviously people are going to be wearing them that's what they're made for but I do think the fashion scene are going to adopt the statement scarves a lot more. Acne Studios are always a brand that comes to mind when I think of statement scarves and I love the look of this one. And if you don't want to break the bank but you want to dabble in styling a scarf then check out Uniqlo's heat tech scarves. I've got this red one and I've also got this green one and the quality for the price is fantastic. Also if you like to wear a lot of black like me then a scarf can be a nice way to add some color and some detail to your outfit so play around with them. And if you like the look of football scarves but you don't support a football team and you don't know which one to get then just get this one from cars. Now this next trend is not going to be for everyone but what trend is and it's long overcoats. Now I love an overcoat and I do think they're a bit of a cheat code to looking like you've put a bit of thought into your outfits. If you've got a very simple boring outfit on then just throw on a nice overcoat over the top and it's going to spice it up a lot. If money's not an issue then I'd highly recommend this coat from Ami Paris but if you do want something more affordable then check out this one from Weekday. If you want to play around with overcoats but you don't want to go too long then check out this one from Arquette. I think it looks really lovely. And for something similar but a little bit smarter then check out this one from Cars. Again all of this stuff is linked in the description box so check it out down there if you're interested. Now I do think there's going to be a lot more things trending but I think we've covered a lot here so I'm going to end this one here. We can always carry on the conversation down in the comments so if you think I've missed anything then do let us know down there. But if you enjoyed this one please do leave it a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe and thank you so much for watching. See you later.